mantra of the wind together. She doesn't know. Peace increases. Your outside stress releases. Hey, where's Doug? Could you deal with him? Thank you. Oh God, I hope he's not sick. Oh girl, don't you say it right now, honey. No, good. Now the mantra of the waters. Of why I love it so much is because it really does capture our lives today. You know, everyone has probably been on at least one Zoom call, and this short film really captured what it's like. You know, in the beginning, we see so many things going on. Um, all the characters have something going on in their own personal lives, and then trying to come back together. And then, of course, the poor connection with the instructor is genius because. That is something that I think everyone has had to face at least once. And, you know, like, all these characters are drastically different. And at the point where they all, like, sing their own songs, we got to see, like, a little bit of each character. And I think that worked very well. And I really liked the ending. I think it was a nice reveal that she was, like, faking her lags. <laughs> um, but, yeah, I think this is a very strong and powerful film, and I'm very... Glad that I got to watch. Definitely the first time I'd ever seen a musical entirely through Zoom. Um, definitely felt like I was just sitting in on a call there. Um, great performances all around. I loved the Doug. That was a nice uh, touch. But um, everyone else, the main cast, do a great job at carrying us through this um, uh, without it getting tiring at all. And just, uh, you know, giving us a few numbers and uh, just, yeah, really nailing it. I thought it was uh, thoroughly enjoyable. I thought this was so fun and so creative to take uh, this approach because a lot of those uh, kind of support or other groups, I mean, everything did end up transitioning or most everything did end up transitioning to uh, like some sort of online version of what what was happening so I think that taking that approach of like a meditation support class of some kind was so creative and I loved the way that they filmed it and edited it together because it was just so realistic um anyone that uses zoom or any of these other things that is what you see if you're on meetings or in calls or whatever else so I thought that using that actual format was um, really effective in telling this particular story. And then apart from that, it was also just really uh, kind of impressive because the music was really good. It was really on point. Um, it definitely was super relatable for most of us. I felt like it was a bit of um, pandemic of the opera. Uh, a bit like when meditation meets mediation. Um, I like how the long-awaited Doug dropped in, not to participate, but just to bob his head a little bit, um, add to the piece, and then disconnect again. Overall, uh, it was pretty much well-summed with the phrase, are we open or are we closed? Are these my, are my uh, pajamas my new working clothes? Uh, very stay-at-home worky and very quirky. I like the idea of a musical support group and totally agree with the fear uh, that normal will never be normal again. I thought a lot of issues were approached with humor and I would definitely give this one another view. I knew who each of these characters were immediately and all of the fleshing out of their stories through song I thought made it that much better. There was also these hilarious little details throughout um, having to spend time in your car to have your private chat just to get out of the house from your own family, um, the meditation teacher having to move a half drink bottle of wine from out of the view of the camera and uh, it just was great and it added some depth and variation to the piece as well. Um, yeah, I turn in every week to their therapy session. It's the most fun I've ever had in a therapy session. First of all, the entirety of the cast is incredibly talented, um, both as, as actors and as vocalists. Um, the, the book for this is just, it's so lovely. I mean, 
it's incredible how it was able to be uh, accomplished and executed with such ease. But clearly, um, there was so much work put in putting into making it seem seamless. It's funny, heartfelt, and entertaining. Uh, at its core, it is just fun to watch, and it still has some great messages uh, underscoring it as well. So it's a win-win in both departments. Very well done by all involved. This was absolutely fantastic. It was such a creative idea to put on a musical number incorporating the real-life struggles of Zoom meetings and being in quarantine, or the core, as they call it, which I'm definitely going to be adopting into my <laughs> everyday language. Um, every character expressed very real struggles and fears and frustrations incorporated with being quarantined. Um, some lived alone, some were with families, but each of them had their own unique set of issues and ways of coping with that. So it felt very meta. Um, the fact that the viewer is also in quarantine watching these and probably can relate with having Zoom meetings and airing your frustrations with other people. And then they turned this musical about living in quarantine while living in quarantine. It was just... It was all levels of creative. I truly, truly enjoyed it. Haddon wow. Kime deserves extreme credit for not only coming up with the term Zoomsicle, but for pinpointing the problems of, um, of, of self-meditative online care that we are pretending is working. You know, he's right. Our... our uh, Everything is lagging. Education, bank accounts, um, history lessons, professions. It's just, it's, it's, it, to, to, to hear it set to music and, and, and to name one performer in particular, uh, Ryan's, uh, Ryan Saver's, um, falsetto moment where she, she, um, she very eloquently, describes the uh the pains of motherhood during this during the pandemic was uh was a highlight of the entire show but the but from beginning to end it is a it is a work of genius and i completely agree that that uh that lagging is something that we're all being accustomed to do mostly through the online community